like being in the Austrian Alps, if you can hear me over these cowbells. How cute are these guys? You're certainly not likely to lose them, are you? I hope they take them off at night because you wouldn't get much sleep, would you? I'm almost expecting to hear the sound of music. See a chap with his lederhosen on. It's like stepping back in time. It's a very Swiss type place, isn't it? And apparently those mountains are the Idols. Very nice. Definitely Swiss or Austrian. Well, this is a place called Val de Murin. Uh, it's a lovely picturesque walk, all uphill as usual. And as I was coming up, I saw these like telegraph poles at the side of the, the, the pathway. And I thought, you know, you can see that, that one's dripping water. What's that all about then? And I wanted to have a nose in this construction. And as I walked up a little further, I don't know where the water goes, but these have water flowing through them. And then it goes into here. And it goes all the way down. So whether that's a feed into the houses or into the fields for the cattle. Some really nice little waterfalls over there. Yeah, you, you should have guessed there'd be waterfalls involved in this walk somewhere. But that's fabulous. I think I've ever seen anything like that in my life. Like that. Yeah, I'm getting distracted. And it is sort of a stream, so they're channeling the water. I think it works ever so well because there's only a teeny tiny little puddle under there. The water just comes down and flows up. What a fabulous idea! Right, well we're walking up there somewhere. It's a very grey and murky overcast day, so not really a landscape day. So I thought I'd try and find something a bit different and do something a bit touristy. As opposed to photographer-ish, if that makes sense. So let's go see what we can find. Amazing feat of engineering. I can't remember how many of these um, water mills there are. I think there's seven, and they're all linked with these. And they've got little falls as well. They all look man-made because they've all got the they're like um, tree trunks going across to, to make dams. But the water flows down here, goes into this water mill comes out the other side, goes down into the stream, and then gets, some of the water gets picked up by the next one of these, and then that feeds the next watermill. It's amazing. Huh. Now I think I've passed four. So I'm gonna carry on to the top. I seem to be making a habit of standing next to water, so I have to shout. I've walked up to the top water wheel. 
and I can't see anything that really grabs my attention in terms of a composition including a wheel and its wheel housing. Now it may be because there isn't a big enough flow of water to cover all the tut, all of this stuff, which may well be natural, but it, I don't know, it may have been put there for a reason to, to slow the flow down, I don't know. But it doesn't look particularly photogenic to me. However, I started a really nice little cascade. So I've kind of scrabbled down the banking a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I've fiddled around with compositions. I'm not including any sky. I'm not including anything above that first fold. Because that's a broken tree and it really doesn't look that nice. And there's not really any autumn colours here. There's a very sorry looking tree here. But again, on this side, there's a load of yucky stuff, which I really don't want in it. So the composition I've settled for is, it's actually a very slight curve. It comes down, bends slightly to the left, slightly to the right, slightly to the left, and then out of the bottom right hand corner. I've been aiming for that magic half a second. So I have a polarizer on to take the glare off. I've tried it without the polarizer. Nah, it really doesn't work. So I've put the polarizer on and then I'm getting a bit of streakiness in the water as well as the water smoothing down over each of the steps. I'm really quite pleased with that. I'm on F10, as I say, half a second, ISO 100. Sorry, I had the polarizer on and a 0.6 grad but pulled all the way down just to slow it down because whilst it's overcast, it is actually quite bright. There's one more image I think I'm going to try for, which is spotted on the way up. And then it's time for lunch. Well, I'm not entirely certain my tripod's particularly safe. <laughs> it's the only position I could get it in to get anywhere near the image that I was after. I'll flip you around a second. I don't stray too far from it in case it suddenly decides to keel over the edge. It's a real monkey, this. What attracted me, oh, I'm just trying to find somewhere to stand, is the gorgeous yellow larches here and just down on this side. This is a pain. It's in the way. I can't get down here. So that's why I'm in a very precarious position with the tripod. I've stacked my filters because the sky is horrendously bright against everything else. But I think I'm either going to crop it out completely or I'm just going to fill it in with the clone tool. Just fill the trees in. I haven't got a huge amount in the image. Just a little bit. I'll show you now. Right, so that's the composition. So you can see I've just got a little bit of sky in there. I don't think it's clonable, I think it's going to have to be cropped. Crop a little bit and then clone the rest. I quite like that. And at least I've got a watermelon. feels like to be on a scale electrics that was huge fun that road but it really did get a bit leery when you met somebody coming the other direction they might have cut a hole in the side of the mountain big enough to get one track through but they didn't think about passing places <sighs> well the sky has cleared somewhat which is great i'm at my final destination i'm not sure if this is a sunset location but it's certainly a late afternoon location and it's just over the other side of this fence 
I'm going to grab my gear and go have a look. Well, it looks decidedly like this is the place to be. I expected it to be busy. I didn't expect it to be this busy. But I'm feeling really uncomfortable talking in front of everybody. I'm not really going to do any vlogging from here. But I will show you the pictures. Um, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. And I've done a quick little um, video round. I'm just fingers crossed that we're going to get some light. Afternoon is the time to photograph this place. There's not much colour in the hills. The trees haven't really begun to turn. And back up there, there's a mountain. Hiding. And the sky is trying to break, and it has been trying to break for the last couple of hours. Right, I'll catch up with you when this is all over. Right, it's cleared out a little bit now. We just have a very mixed bunch here from all, all over the world. A lady from Brazil and people from Cyprus. Oh, amazing. It's now about six o'clock and I've been stood here since half past four. And we have still got cloud, but it is starting to clear just here. Over there, hey, it's really nice. There is still a possibility that it's gonna clear a little bit just in time for sunset because up there there are mountains they're just doing a very good job of hiding at the moment so I've got composition set up I haven't dared move from here it's nothing startling it's a common as muck composition but the focal point is St. Johann's Church now I've just grabbed the other phone it's Cisetta di San Giovanni in Ranui it's a beautiful little place. I'll pop a link down below so you can have a nosy at it and see what it looks like in good weather. Um, my setup is F13, I believe. Yep, F13. I've got a third of a second, but that was, oh, some half an hour ago. I've got two filters on, which are grads both at an angle you can see because that side is brighter than this side so I'm just trying to even the exposure out there and it's working quite well they're both um, one's a soft grad one's a hard grad I have the church on the left third quite tucked over into the corner and there's beautiful rich <laughs> green grass at the front and then you've got the hill side with the trees and some lighter colored trees just down here now you can apparently walk up to in front of the church <laughs> I think I might get lynched if I do that I say the cloud is trying to break we've lost all hope of getting any light on the church itself but we might get some colour so if I don't see you again I shall um, see you tomorrow I haven't decided where I'm going tomorrow so it'll be as much of a surprise to you as it is to me see you later